this original story in 2003 and we started to work on the film quite early in 2004 and it, it took a long, quite a long time to uh, adapt it to film, to, to get the finance for the film, to apply for it. But at last, uh, the film was shot in 2015-16 and the film came out in 2017 and it really became an international hit and uh, it was uh, uh, distributed in uh, 40 countries for cinema and television and won uh, 20 international awards included the one of the berlin area audience award this is the huge berlin film festival international film festival and my story uh, appeared uh, in this book uh, 1945 and other stories that will come out in China too. The collective, the, the idea behind the stories in this book that all of these stories are told somehow from a minority perspective or show minority, minority complexes, minority problems, minority uh, difficulties with the majority or post-traumatic events in European history. Uh, the stories are not just about history, but about personal conflicts, love affair, family affair, different kinds of uh, problems. And uh, it gives also the, the impression for the audience that uh, besides the historical traumas, besides the historical minority problems, there are another kind of minority, there is another kind of minority the biggest minority in the world ever and always, the children. It is a post-Holocaust story, it's a post-World War II story. Two survivors, Orthodox Jews, arrive back uh, to Hungary, arrive to a village uh, where they want to, to find the cemetery. Uh, but they, the, the locals don't know what is, what is the, the purpose of their coming. What is the purpose uh, of these two foreigners? And they start to, to behave aggressively because they have feeling of guilt because uh, the state confiscated the Jewish property one year before when the Jews were deported from Hungary and from all over the uh, uh, states where the German army, the Nazis occupied uh, the countries. So uh, some survivor came back and the people who got some property from the state, who collaborate with the Germans, collaborate with the Nazis, they started. They start to feel uh, aggression, fear that they have to give back the properties, and they started. Some some of the people start to feel the the uh, feeling of guilt. It's a Kafka's Cats is a novel on uh, two two investigations. One on Kafka's heritage. Uh, the story is uh, a fiction that uh, somebody uh, uh, gave a report that uh, he sees, he saw Kafka in Auschwitz in 1944, which is an absolutely new phenomenon, absolutely uh, surprise because everybody knows from the literary history that Kafka died in 1924, 20 years before. So how could it happen? Is it a fantasy? Is it, is it something that never happened? And the investigation of a professor, literary professor, uh, start, start to, to think about, start to write about uh, how could it happen? The other part of the story is the contemporary investigation all over Europe, all the places where Kafka has different kinds of uh, routes, his own uh, city, Prague, or the, the archives where, where uh, Kafka manuscripts are in all over Europe. This novel was translated into Turkish. It was published in Turkey in 2018, and it just came out in Prague, in Czech, uh, this week. So I'm very curious on uh, the next, next step of this book. Europa Symphony is my uh, latest novel. It came out uh, at the end of last week, last year. It is uh, about a Transylvanian family in which a young guy grew, grew up, Andras, Andrei, who became a violinist. He is an uh, un unbelievable talent. 
and he has a very deep drive to, to, to play. We see in the second half of the story uh, a West Berlin scene, 1971, uh, and we can we we got, get an, a totally other aspect of the story because we we get information uh, on the head of the Berlin Philharmonic who was a prisoner of war in 1945, and the two families interconnected in the in the story. Thank you.